What the fuck? this hey man what took you so long to get here we've been waiting here forever what's going on we're going to see the ball drop in the city duh we've been planning this forever you okay dude you look terrible yeah, maybe you should sit in the back seat, far away from me in case you barf. Seriously, are you okay? Yeah. Let's... let's get going. Man, tonight we are gonna party like it's 1999! <laughs> Man, I can't wait to kick off the new millennium in style! Uh, I can't remember the last time I did something fun for the new year. We should leave now if we want to get shopping in before the new year. How can you even think about shopping? Wasn't it just Christmas? Exactly! All the best stuff is on sale now! As we drove to the city, I knew something was wrong. Looking around at my friends, I felt as if I was looking at poorly drawn pictures of them, where the artist's crude abilities had just barely captured enough of their essence to show me who they were supposed to be. I looked back. Something had been wrong for a while now. Why did I feel like this? Why was it that when I looked at Vela, I felt as if I was looking at someone else altogether? When I looked at Proto Michael, I felt like I was looking at a beautiful image that was stained. His features were too rounded. Claudio, Chandra, how are they even talking? I looked at their mouths moving up and down and felt a strange detachment to them as if they were speaking a foreign language without making a sound at all. I turned to the Essentia. Her face felt blurry and out of focus. Have you figured it out? No. What's happening? This reality has already started to break. But this didn't start today, did it? I see. So you have noticed. Only just today. I'm pretty oblivious to things I don't want to see. If you haven't noticed. So, would you like me to clear some things up? Of course. Give it to me straight. When someone leaves a reality, a place for a new soul to enter that reality becomes available. Our souls are in constant transit if we do not enter the soul space and take direct control. So this Michael here is not the Michael from your childhood. Proto-Michael is as he is a combination of all Michaels. So did the old Michael leave this reality? No. This reality is shattered. Lost souls in the soul space are slipping in and out of it. Which might explain why Vela was here before Sammy was gone. So, Claudio and Chandra? That is one I'll let you figure out yourself. It will be good for you. Allow me to start at the beginning. You belong to this reality. So does Sammy. When Sammy left, Vela took her place. I took advantage of Sammy leaving this reality and forced my spirit into this physical space. Understand so far? Yes. Michael, like Rory, Chandra, Claudio, and myself, are important to you in every reality. Hi, Saju. How are you doing? When this reality broke, they entered. So, a version of Michael, Rory, Chandra, and Claudio all come to this reality. For what? To find you. To find me. We're going to help them. How? This reality is broken. And from what I can tell, it's been broken for a long time. I do not know. We must first see what form you take to destroy this reality. I don't want to destroy this reality, or, or any reality! Why does it have to be me? I'm doing alright, just uh, working towards the end of uh, Y2K. If it wasn't you, 
it would be me, or Rory, or Claudio. We are all capable of destruction. We can create or destroy. The choice is ultimately yours. Then I choose not to destroy this reality. Excellent. Now, if only your parallel selves agreed. I spent the duration of the two-hour road trip ignoring the happy and excited laughter of my friends. I was playing the events of the past year over and over again in my head. I thought back to when I first arrived in Frankton. Everything felt so different. Seeing Michael again, it seemed so normal for him to live next to me. Then we met Vela, and that felt the most real out of all the things that had happened so far. I thought about Sammy. What had she been running from? Why did she leave this reality? Probably for the best. This reality has gone to literal shit. Did she perhaps sense that the end was coming? Was her reality torn apart along with mine? I thought about the mind dungeon. I had never heard of a mind dungeon before, and yet I accepted it. Just dial 333 and you'll go inside a physical version of your mind. There you can toughen up and learn to do magic. Magic? I hadn't have found this strange. It was all so obvious from the start. This wasn't my reality. Mind dungeons. Cats with mustaches. Beautiful women who come in and out of my life. Mysterious pan-dimensional androids. This wasn't my life. Of course something had to be wrong. I had sensed it all along. But I was so intrigued by the fun and mystery of it all. Who wouldn't be? Yeah, I heard there's a new game plus as well. We found parking in the city without even trying on New Year's Eve. This really was a warped reality. Um, how far are you on a PS4? Okay, what am I supposed to do? I'll go ahead and save. I want to use a different save slot. Okay, it's just to go over there. Okay, how do we get there? That's blocked by cars. These are just generally blocked off. Subway? That actually does make sense. I followed my friends, wishing I could tell them how I was feeling. Okay, next, I got me. We need to go there. Um, nice. The uh, Essentia 2000 brings like so much damage to the game that like you're missing everywhere else. <laughs> And thank you for the follow, Saju. Can't go down that. Was this our last meal together? Would we survive the night? Would this reality continue to exist? What would happen to our souls? I wish I could jump inside their brains and make them remember, but were these even the same friends I was with the past year? Okay, now I need to go over here to Times Square. I 
dig this music though. Is that a comet up there? I know we saw that before. And is that Dolly? I'm just gonna keep running forward. It's 11.55 p.m. We're all going to die. I don't know how, but I can feel it in my bones. So it ends. Giant Alex comic comet. <laughs> With legs? What the hell is that? Oh my god! This is all so familiar! Calm down, Michael. Prepare to fight. This is it. This is the end. Okay, guys. We trained for this. What do you mean we trained for this? <laughs> it's not Alex's face. Holy shit. Everyone, this is it. Prepare yourselves. Michael, you're back. I never left. Holy shit. I remember everything now. What's happening? I hope that means you all remember what's going on here. Come on! Let's knock my ugly mug back into space! I remember thinking... This is how we die. What should have been a bright future is nothing more than a bunch of kids... ...who thought they could make a difference. A bunch of kids who fought a losing battle. Yeah, he comes. He gets all like topless and crap, <laughs> with a super hairy, with a hairy chest and everything. Proto Michael is so weird. All right, let's see how how bad this thing is. Six crit? Okay, that's not bad. It's 35? It's 11 levels lower than us? I missed the last one. Still don't do any damage, though. So, I guess it's going to be Essentia 2000 doing all our damage. Characters are around level 46, I believe. And I didn't do much other than uh, just doing side quests, which technically weren't very hard either.
10 damage, not bad. Yeah, it's a little... You could probably be doing side quests right now, uh, Saju. Um, there, if you go to Onsum 1999, all the posts there are the side quests that you can do. And completing a side quest effectively gives you a level. They don't explain that very well in the game. Of course, I do one real big combo and then that. So we got a mug shot again. Alright. I'm gonna make you look so good! Say cheese! Say cheese! Say cheese! Come on, blink. Say cheese! Say cheese! Say cheese! Say cheese! Say cheese! Nice. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That was not good. Not good at all. <laughs> This thing can banish us. And six damage. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Roy. is so difficult to mm.
Like 50 HP does not move his bar much at all. And he's no longer sick. Goodbye, Chandra. Halfway dead now. He couldn't banish these two. So it's just going to be a long fight of... This can't be good. The key unlocks our safety from death eternally. Past the iron gate, I'll crack the code of our fate. Just try to understand. Everything one moment and be so completely alone the next. My world is destroyed. I am destroyed. What are you going to do now? We can live alone on this island forever. You and me. What do you say, pal? Yeah, you're right. That's a terrible idea. Where do you think the Essentia 2000 is? I don't know. But I really wish she was here. And Bella. And everyone else. Fucked up, man. <laughs> you fucked up. Everyone died. Because of you. All right. Let's explore around, see if there's something we can do. Because I see the phone saying we can enter soul space. I don't think that's what we want to do. We can't go upstairs because Panda's blocking the way. Can't use the computer. Yeah, it looks like our only option is to use the phone. I just want to make sure there wasn't, like, he said something if he chose to no. know. I finally understood absolute loss. Video games, music, TV, expensive record players. All of these material things have value. 
but they can't be valued above the people in your life. Bella lost the man who hurt her. Sammy lost her mind. Rory lost his sister. What had I ever lost? Your father? It's a funny thing to grow up with everything in life. When I was four, I vacationed to Italy one summer. I did every year for the next two years, and you know how much I appreciated that travel? You guessed it. I didn't appreciate it at all. I met a kid in college who had never left the state. He said his parents didn't take vacations. I didn't realize people didn't travel. I didn't realize how much I had and how little I had done to earn it. Now that there's nothing here, I realize. Realize what a little shit I was. I thought about my soul and whatever the hell that meant. Did I even believe in souls? Well, I did to a certain extent. I think the problem is people of a hundred different ideologies say different words. Soul means one thing to one person and something entirely different to another. I thought about my mom, my sister, about Vela, Rory, Michael, Chandra, and Claudio. I thought about all my friends from college, my past girlfriends, teachers, random people on buses. And they were all gone. Simply gone. Gone where? When you die, you don't enter the soul space. Soul space isn't heaven or anything stupid like that. It's the place between places. No, that's not entirely right, though, is it? It's the place between. The place between places. There was nothing left for me here. And yet, I was scared to go. But what was the alternative? If I stayed here, I'd die. I'd starve. I'd go insane from the loneliness. The only place to go was to that place between spaces. The soul space. But how? How do I do this? How do I separate my brain from my body? How can the physical and metaphysical be separated? What happens to a mind lost in the soul space? What becomes of it? There's so many questions I should have asked the Essentia 2000. You're now face to face with God. You can ask him any question and all you can ask is what's for dinner? This is me in a nutshell. I lacked appreciation for those around me. I should have. No, don't think like that, Alex. There's no use in beating myself up. Is there? I don't even know anymore. Don't be so hard on yourself! It's what my mother said to me whenever I made a mistake. But was this the mantra I really should have adopted? Maybe I should be hard on myself. Maybe I'm a failure. Maybe acknowledging your mistakes makes you not a little shit! Okay. We, we have to get the band back together. And take this thing out, don't we? Fly up, fly down, and dash. Okay. See a Statue of Liberty, and it's kind of pointing me that direction. It is getting closer. Panda. Panda. I'm so lost. Where do we go? What do we do here? I'm terrified. I miss my friends. My family. What the hell am I going to do out here all alone? Alex. I don't have any answers for you. I'm sorry. You mean you don't have answers? <laughs> you, 
You always have something to say! Alex, how am I supposed to know what to do? I'm only a stuffed panda. <laughs> Hey, hey, go come back! I don't care if you're a toy! I need you! I Okay, nothing goes there. Where's it telling me to go? I see what looks like a black hole over there. As well as this Field of blue stars? What is this? Wait. What is this? What's up, Super D Hero? How are you doing? See a save point. I'm actually going to take advantage of that. Oh, we only get five save slots. This one. Let's go where it's pointing us, which appears to be this black hole. That's forever away. Is that where we were? It's getting closer, even though it's taking forever. Okay. Hey! Hey! Wait, wait, don't go! Oh, I haven't seen you before. Did you just get here? Yes. Can you tell me where here is? It's your room, of course. Look, I just got to the soul space. I, I'm lost. I'm so confused. I don't even know what we do here in the soul space. Ah, I understand. Well, we've got a bunch of the latest games from each reality, some dope beats. So, uh, just kick back and enjoy. I was with my friends, and then something happened. I was myself, but I was also a meteorite. They're all dead, I think. Shit, are you serious? Of course I'm serious! What kind of question is that? Well, none of us have ever seen it through to the end before. 
You're the first, I believe. Usually we leave our body when she comes to get us. Wait. Who is she? Well, the Ascension 2000. She appears to us, warns us, shows us what we're gonna do, and we get the hell out of reality before anyone gets hurt. I didn't do that! I thought I could fight it! <sighs> wow, you're a brave one, but, uh, it's impossible. How could the decent few of us actually stand a chance? There are just too many of them. Too many of who? Look, I think it would be best if you just relaxed a bit. You're gonna give yourself a panic attack. Whatever you do, just don't go to the other side of the rock. We're not allowed to go over there. Okay, so that's where we obviously are gonna have to go. What did she look like for you? Mine was red. God, I miss her. <laughs> did you see her? Is she coming back, man? Ooh. The android. <laughs> the Essential 100, man. It's a different android. <laughs> I was starting to think I made the bad choice. She said we'd explore the universe together. She said we'd see everything. All I do is sit on a rock with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Sometimes I think I should just go to the other side of the rock. I bet it's more fun over there. This looks more like a Claudio than it is a, uh, an Alex. Okay, nobody else? Then we will save. And we will go to the other side. The robed Alexes. Are you here to join us? Oh, won't you please help us? I stared into the void, and all I saw was myself. We are going to destroy another reality. Are you coming? As I followed the meteorite version of myself, I felt something drop from within me. It was losing a part of myself. I was a burst pipe, and I was a plumber desperately trying to hold it all together. I was a metaphor for a metaphor for a sad, sad man. I followed the meteorite for ages, watching it destroy one reality, and then the next, then the next. Each time, it was as if I lost all my friends again. My mom, my sister, my dad, everyone I couldn't remember. Why couldn't I recall everyone? I thought about what Vela told me about soul survivors. Was I becoming a soul survivor? I was the soul survivor of my reality. It would be a fitting fate. I tried with earnest desperation to hold on to what made me, me. A star in the distance. You're gone again. Your soul is destroyed. I don't know how many times I've witnessed the loss of a reality at the hands of myself. What could I do? I wasn't strong enough on my own to defeat so many. I was cold. I didn't have a body, and yet somehow I was cold. Desperately, I longed for it. What was her name? She was a woman made of plastic. She was essential to my survival. How had she saved me? Why didn't I do? What was her name? What was my name? 
I needed to keep my mind. I needed to stay me as long as possible. But for what? What was I going to figure out? What was I going to accomplish? Why am I here? I desperately tried to recall my life. I arrived home from school, that I could recall. What did I majored in? I met a mysterious and wonderful girl named Sammy. Yes, she was, oh, and then she disappeared. And I never saw her again. I made friends with my neighbor and together we met a girl from another reality. Yeah, I started having dreams about a beautiful android stuck in a van. Me, my neighbor, and the girl from another dimension met a kid on the internet whose sister died. We became good friends. I chased a mysterious being from another reality to a radio tower where it asked me to find a record. I made two new friends when looking for the record. The record turned out to be by the girl from the other dimension. We played the record in the radio tower and it woke up the sleeping android stuck in the van. We chased her down. She took me inside her mind and showed me that the world was going to end and that I was going to end it. Together my friends and I worked hard to stop it. My eternal friends. Friends who were there for me in every reality. What happened? We couldn't do anything. It's all over. Floating away. Floating away. I'm nothing. I kind of wonder if on your first playthrough it's impossible to beat that comet? And if New Game Plus allows you to, de to defeat it. Because you'd get enough levels to be way higher. Oh, there's Sammy. And Dolly. And Panda. But I can't talk to them. Nor can I interact with anything. It's me, Panda! God damn it, Panda. There's a bunch of keys here. It's me, Panda! I swear to God, Panda. There's the factory. Who's up top? Sammy. I'm pretty sure I don't need money. It's me, Panda. Okay. What are you going to do for us? The only thing I can buy is a panda key. Here's the panda key. Michael, is that you? Oh my god. Michael, come back! Wait for me! Shit! 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 Don't walk away! And a new path opens up. With Bella. It probably seemed like I'm saving way too... too often. But... I've had too many things freeze up on me in this game. I don't want to take any chances. We can't, we can't use the kitty, uh, Saju. So it sounds like we're going to be going around this multiple times to see everybody. Ow. 
Alright, I need the dolly key. Which one? The uh, main character? Uh, the red-headed kid? Yeah, that's Alex. And then the robe figures are also a version of Alex. Chandra. So I need to go get the entity key. for an entity key. feeling there was an option you could sell stuff to him. It's a little bit difficult to explain what's going on. Uh, Shun Wolf Bark. But it's really out there and weird. Uh, effectively, uh, our world has been destroyed and this is kind of a manifestation of souls and parallel lives and it's all just like high concept strangeness. Never get to Rory. How did I get here? How had I found this planet on my own? How is the meteorite not already here? Something is happening. Somewhere in the isolated recesses of my mind, like a warm light in the distance, an idea is forming. A completely human, genius, and kind intentioned idea. Something that no other version of me would do. 
And now my body is filled with that overwhelming feeling that I'm about to do the right thing. I always made a choice. A lazy choice. Not today. Today, I choose differently. Let's go to Earth. Surprisingly, that looks like actual Earth, too. Like, I can see Japan there, Korea, and Australia down there. As I approached the planet, I wondered about the nature of their reality. Could I intervene? Was there another me in this reality? <laughs> 